So today on my video blog we'll be unboxing the P7P55D. So this is the vanilla board. They've got a lot of different suffixes, but this one has a 12 plus 2 phase power design, crossfire, but no SLI support, and it uses 100% Japanese capacitors. It's Windows 7 ready like every P55 board, and let's get this thing opened up and have a look at the accessory package. So we've got a pretty bare bones accessory package. You can see we've got an IO shield. We've got the motherboard manual along with the uh, drivers and uh, applications DVD. We've got an IDE cable. Then we've got their uh, their little connector thingamajiggies. We have four SATA cables, two right angle and two straight. And then let's get to the board itself. So pull out their green 100% non-styrofoam packaging here. Let's get this board out. Here we go. So. Give me two seconds here, let's have a look. So, like all P55 boards, well, it's the usual thing. We've got support for dual channel DDR3 memory right here. We've got ASUS's MemOK technology, which sets your memory to the bone stock default, so you can post the board with pretty much any RAM in it. We've got seven SATA ports down at the bottom here. Here's your USB. Now let's have a look at the slots here. So we've got a 16x PCI Express slot, and then another one. These will run in 8x, 8x mode if you're using Crossfire. We've got a couple PCIe 1x slots, three PCI. Now they're using these cool, uh, I really like these. They remind me of like, you know, Superman's Fortress of Solitude or whatever. You got like your icicle looking coolers on the MOSFETs. As I mentioned before, we've got a 12 plus 2 phase power design. Here's your 1156 socket. Let's have a look at the back of the board here and what we've got for I.O. So, here's your PS2 keyboard and mouse. Then we've got eight USB ports right there, there, and there. We've got digital audio, but only optical, not coaxial. We've got Firewire, eSATA, a gigabit ethernet, and then 7.1 audio. So thank you for checking out my video blog on the P7P55D.